Every day, the Wake County Public School System transports students back and forth to school on more than 850 school buses. All of these buses are essentially the same, with the exception of this bus here, bus number one. If you look closely, you'll see that this bus is equipped with an electric plug that is used to recharge its batteries, making it one of the state's first electric plug-in hybrid buses. As prices at the pump continue to climb, along with concerns about our environment, the Wake County Public School System is doing its part to help find a more fuel efficient and environmentally friendly solution to student transportation. This past school year, Wake County became one of the first school districts in the nation to transport students using a new plug-in hybrid electric school bus. Being among the first to receive one of the hybrid buses is a real benefit to Wake County. Well, it benefits the school system. I guess it gives a sense of pride. We're one of the first ones in the country to have one. Only two other, one other hybrid in the state. And um, just trying to help out the environment. Uh, less fuel you burn, the uh, less pollutants you put out, and that's the ultimate goal of the hybrid. Not only just saving money, it's saving the environment. The bus is the result of a nationwide initiative called the Plug-In Hybrid Electric School Bus Project, led by Raleigh-based Advanced Energy. Ewan Pritchard is the company's hybrid program manager. He said once the technology is perfected, the goal is to improve the fuel economy of school buses by 70 to 100 percent and reduce emissions by up to 90 percent. Well, right now we're seeing about a 30 to 40 percent improvement in fuel economy, uh, which is not, not as good as we had hoped. We were looking for about a 100 percent improvement in fuel economy. We know what the problems are. We're working with International to, to overcome those problems. Despite the problems, Wake County is already seeing some benefits from its hybrid bus. Right now, the cost of the electricity going into this bus is a, the equivalent of about 60 cents per gallon of diesel fuel. So when you compare that to $2.80 or, or whatever you see at the pumps nowadays, it's significantly cheaper. And with 30% lower emissions, that's already a big improvement over regular school buses. The lower fuel cost and emissions are the result of an innovative new technology system that utilizes energy stored in batteries. So we have 35 kilowatt hours worth of lithium ion batteries on the far side of the bus. And those batteries, we can fill them from this electric port here on the side of the bus. And for the first 44 miles of its daily trip, the idea is that it's predominantly pulling electricity from that battery pack and adding it to that shaft and trying to reduce the fuel consumption uh, by doing that. While the electric port is the only visible sign that this bus is different from others on the exterior, the interior is a different story. Progress Energy paid to have clouds painted on the ceiling of the bus and added signage so that students would be aware that they are riding a hybrid electric school bus. This awareness that they are doing something to help protect the environment makes students such as Walter Nystrom feel good. I feel pretty special because not a lot of other kids are riding it and it's a whole lot comfortable, more comfortable. So I feel like I'm actually living the life. Pritchard said the savings generated by using hybrid buses should make the entire school system feel good as well. Districts are, are fighting to keep their budgets to, to pay for um, fuel and to pay for, for vehicles and, and every time you pay a dollar for fuel that's a dollar that didn't go to a school book, a school book or a teacher. Uh, so we, we feel like by, by making this change we can uh, get to a future where, where school transportation is both cheaper, cleaner and uh, uses our natural resources a little bit more responsibly. Data collected by Wake County through its use of the hybrid bus this past school year will be used to improve the overall design of the bus. A lot of the information is being gathered by NC State University and we're working with them. Uh, the governor's just announced a new program to investigate plug-in hybrids, uh, which is a great thing. And NC State University will be predominantly running that program. This is the beginning uh, of, of plug-in hybrid school buses. It's far from the end. And um, you know we're sort of driving the, the momentum forward and, and helping the manufacturer understand what they need to know to, to get these vehicles better. To learn more about how hybrid technology is being used to improve the efficiency of our school buses, visit Advanced Energy's website at hybridschoolbus.org.